Hi guys! So in this test we will continue creating our positive login test and we will describe our first page object login page. So let's start, let's go, let's open our uh, login test. Here it is open and let's start creating our test. So first of all before we can open dice we need to uh, create our login page from our login page object. So let's type login page, login page, like that. So this is our login page object. Let's hover over and import it, com dice pages. And this is our page name, equals new, log log in not the test page uh, where is it yep driver just like that uh, Oh yeah, uh, it doesn't know what the driver is because when we created our login test, we didn't extend base base test. So now when we save and when we import base test, change visibility of login page to public. Is it not login page protected? Yeah, it should be public mistakes mistakes now going back here yeah so now everything is fine so we created our login page uh, which will be new instance of the login page class with our driver that was created in base test next so what we need to do next is actually open our login page so let's go to our login page object and let's create new method. Let's make it public also. Void. And let's call it open login page. So basically here what we need to do is driver get and the actual page URL, but because of you know open page we, we basically will use in almost every uh, page object, let's create, let's go to our base page object and let's create this method here. Um, so let's make it protected. Uh, void? No, it's not gonna be void. It's gonna be type T. Let's call it gate page. It will receive our URL that we need to open. String URL. And inside of this method we're gonna have driver get and our URL. And since this is type T, we need to return type this. Save. Hover over, add suppress warning because type is not checked, so just add suppress warning. This will do for now. So now we, ho we have this get page. Uh, method here. Let's go back to our login test, uh, not login test, login page object, and let's use it. Get uh, get page and URL. Uh, what is the URL of our page? Let's create in in the login page private static final variable
and call it URL, all uppercase. And equals, we have it in our comment. So this is our URL. Let's copy it from login test here. Uh, public static final string. Yep, that should be string. Save. So here, driver get URL. So we have method for getting our page created, open login page. Let's use it in our login test. So copy our page, dot, so hot called open, open login page. So first step is done, uh, open login page. Next, fill up email and password. Let's go back to login page object and let's create another method. Um, public void fill up email and password. Now uh, our email and our password we will receive from our test. So string email and string password. Uh, so then we need to type them and instead of typing them here now let's go to our base page object and create another method protected Protected type void. I forget void. Protected void type method created. So here we need to have what we're gonna type. So string text and where we're gonna type it by element. Let's import our by from Selenium. Now, uh, let's go back to login page object. Let's do this type. Type email and element. So email field. And same for password. Type password in password field. Next, we have to describe our fields. Let's go to our sign in page. And what I like to use to get the, the locator, just I'm just doing it, uh, usually, I'm doing it in Chrome. So just right click on our email field, inspect element, and let's see what we have. Uh, input with, is, oh, ID email, perfect. It could not be better. Input with ID email, and what about password? Input with ID password, great. So let's go to our uh, login, login page and create after our private static final string URL. Let's create our elements, make it private. Private by, so we want to have it email field and same for password field. Equals by, uh, I like to have, I, I like to use xpath but we're gonna use ND ID. So input with ID equals email. That's right, just email. And basically same for password. Also input with ID password. 
Okay, so we have our two fields. Let's actually let's go ahead while we're here and do the same for sign in button. So sign in button, button type submit. Uh, I don't see ID class button primary blah blah blah. Oh, let's just use this button type button. So button with type oh button with type submit. Another private by uh, sign in button equals by expert. Was it button with type submit, right? Not used anywhere else yet. Uh, let's actually verify if we did not make any mistakes or there is just one field or button on our page. So let's copy our XPath, let's go to our page, let's go to our console and lots of people like to use uh, Firefox and Firebug uh, but I just get used to uh, Chrome so I do everything in Chrome but if you like to use Firefox and Firebug extension you can go ahead and use it, it's really easy to use but what I do is uh, I type next in, in the console dollar sign x and paste our uh, xpad click enter so here we have only one field with this xpad and that's the correct field uh, same for password yep that's correct only one field password and our button let's copy our xpad for our button Let's go back to our page. Button, only one button. So everything is correct, everything should work. Now, so type email in email field, type password in password field. Let's go back to our base page, page, page object. Type, so what we have to have here is driver, find element, buy, and our buy is our element and then send keys and send our text okay but I don't like to have this driver find element element here so let's actually right uh, let's highlight this driver find element element right click refactor and extract method and let's call it find Okay, so now we have another uh, method that will return web element. Web element find and by element, which will give us back the element using this by locator. And here is going to be just find element and send keys. So now it should work in and in our login test this method fill up email should work let's go back to login test uh, and here our next step will be login page dot fill up email and password so here we need to type our email and our password so my email let me copy it from here so this is email I use for my test dice profile and this is the password save so two steps crea uh, created login page open and fill up fields next one push sign in button so to push sign in button uh, let's go back to our login page. We already have sign in button uh, variable uh, locator here. So our next method will be also public void and 
let's let's call it what it is uh, push sign in button doesn't receive anything uh, so what we actually do when we how to push sign in button basically as you should know it's a driver click command so click on the element and what we are getting when we log in we get a new page profile page so here it's not it's not gonna be void it's actually gonna return profile page so here's our profile page class name so instead of void this method will return profile page and what we need to do we need to click and then return new actually when you hover over it's uh, eclipse suggests add to add return statement but instead of null it's gonna be new profile page and we have to give driver but here there's gonna be click click on sign in button but we don't have this click well we could write driver click but as you already guessed I would prefer to have this click here the same way as we have type here let's just create oh, let's copy our this method instead of type let's make it click we do not receive any strings any tests we're gonna use same find and then that oh yeah remove a little bit extra so find element click and that's it so we have click method created and in our login page when we do push sign in button it basically clicks on sign in button and then returns our new profile page so let's go to login test and let's do login page variable dot push sign in button just like that save we don't have any errors here so in our in our login test we already have uh, open dice page dice login page type credential push sign in button next we need to wait for profile page to load and then verify if it's actually opened and if the correct page opened but we will do it in our next video and for now that's it